Oh! He did it first. I don't know why they would do that. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special Indonesian episode of Fung Bros Food. Now we have covered Indonesian food before, mm -hmm. but there is still a lot that we have not covered. And we are back in the 626 with special guests Richie Lee and Tan Tang. Thank you so much for joining us. This video is gonna be really interesting because we're not only gonna be showing you guys some new dishes that none of us have ever had, mm -hmm. but we're also gonna be comparing dishes. Mm -hmm. Noodles and noodles, beef with beef, chicken Woo! and chicken. I have been to Jakarta before. From my experience, this place feels very, very authentic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. All right, everybody, thank you so much for clicking on that food video. I gotta give a big shout out to our sponsor, Blue Apron. Blue Apron is a meal kit service that makes it super easy to get fresh ingredients and step-by-step -step recipes delivered to your door. Making it super duper convenient for you to come home and just put together a delicious meal. I think a lot of the reason why people don't cook is the whole preparation process where you gotta go to the store, you gotta go buy a bunch of stuff. You got everything in the box. Today, we are gonna be cooking three different Blue Apron meal kits. We're here with Alfred. We're actually using your kitchen right now. So, so thank you for having us. Let's have a little competition. I'm in charge of the sweet and spicy udon noodles. You are in charge of the cod and coconut curry bowl. For the competition between David and me, you're gonna be the judge. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty hungry, so. You're hangry? I am actually quite hangry. Well, let's see if we can help Alfred go from hangry to happy. What a quaint little bottle of rice vinegar. Asian style aromatic. Yo, that Asian aromatics, bro. Yeah. Make that just a fragrance. And one hour later, we got three dishes. Hold up, hold up. You guys made this. Right here. Yes. You sure? Because this looks too good. Bruh. <laughs> try, what let's even try. is that? My hairs are actually standing right now. That's a <laughs> meal. Bro. Yo, now I'm gonna stay right here in my kitchen and eat that all day. That was so good. In the judgment between these two dishes, when I first had this, I said, oh my god, that was so good. However, I gotta give it to my boy right here that's right now. Yeah, because yeah. it was good. Hey, I'm rolling with yours too. Yeah, that's winner. Let's try this beef dumpling. High key, the crispiness is just taking it to the next level. Big shout out to Blue Apron for bringing people from hangry to happy in the most convenient way. And definitely check out the link in the description box below because the first 50 people to sign up will get $50 off their first two weeks of Blue Apron. And now continue to watch this video. Peace! This is a Indonesian product. It's made there. This is like the Indonesian Vita soil. I got a tea, jasmine tea. Sometimes when you get uh, tea in these type of boxes, they're overly sweet, but I like it's less sugar. It tastes kind of healthy. Mine is actually really good. You guys ever had the apple soda, mm -hmm. but without the carbonation? You come on like a Martinelli's? Yes, yeah, like a Martinelli's. Mine, it's an earthier jasmine than I've ever had before. Got it, got it. All right, lemon too. That actually does taste like BLT. So I pretty much got the Indo VLT. Round one is the Indonesian dish battle. We got Mi GM. I like the name. This is the Mi Tek Tek. The reason why they call it Tek Tek is because that's kind of the sound that the hawker stalls make when they're selling it, when they're hitting their hands to let people know that they got it. Tick, 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 tick. All right, let's go on the noodles. Round one. Fight. This is really interesting because it's like a stew noodle. It's delicious, but my thing is I would almost like pick an identity. Either you're like a soup broth noodle or you're just a stir fry. It's kind of like a wet stir fry. I like the ambiguity. All right, so we had the Tech Tech. That was a dish I never had. This is a Mi GM. I've had a dish similar to this. So this Mi GM is a little bit more of a dry noodle, but you have the soup on the side. These are two chicken noodles. I like them both. I'm rolling my first love, man. The Mi GM. I, really? I agree with David. I agree with David. I'm going with the Tech Tech. Okay. Yeah? The Tech Tech has way more like boom, boom, booms. 
this is like almost like too light. I will say this, the Mi GM tastes like something you can definitely make at home. Yes. This one, a little bit more complicated. I'm rolling with the Tech Tech. In the Indonesian noodle battle between the Tech Tech and the Mi GM, it's a draw. Here we have, on my right side, we got beef rendang. Beef the rendang. classic curry of Indonesia. Okay. One of my favorite curries in the world. This is called the Deng Deng. This is a dried beef, so obviously it's gonna have a different texture. All right, guys, this is the battle between the meats. Oh my, see why this is probably one of your favorite curries mm. in the world. I've never had it like this, melts in your mouth. Yeah, sometimes those spots on the rendang can be tough. Yeah. Dang dang. Oh, the dang dang, let's get it. This is an interesting dish. I'm not going to talk about texture, okay? Obviously it's dry, it's not as moist and wet as the rendang, but flavor, it's up there. It's more tender than I thought it was. I'm gonna go rendang, because that one right there is probably one of the top five curries. Mm. I'm rolling with dang dang. Go with the rendang. Mm. I'm going with the rendang. In the Battle of the Indonesian beef dishes, Rendang's the winner. One, all right, man, we diving into the ocean because we got a battle of the fish. Here we have two of the same fish, both pompanos. Uh -huh. So this one is the fried Aldo, mm -hmm. and this is the grilled Bakar. Yes. Look how beautiful that is. Fried pompano. All right, let's try it, man. I think that is a good fish. Wow, wow. it is so tender. That was incredible. All right, here's the grilled. Papano. Okay, okay. Where's Papano? Wow, that's uh -huh. different. So the fried one is softer because, you know, when you fry it, it kind of keeps all the moisture in. Oh. But when you grill it, they had to cut oh, yeah, the fish yeah, yeah, and then yeah. some of the moisture, yeah. I think, left. When it comes to fish, I am really big on texture. This one, where it's all sauced up and fried, yeah. it, it could come off being sometimes too soft and kind of mushy. Oh. Which is why Please. I'm going with the grill. I'm gonna go with the grilled one, too. Yeah. I'm going with the grilled one. Yeah, I'm going with the grilled one. This one actually gave me a vibe of like eating with my parents. Yeah. All right, so, on the fish pompano battle, it's a it's a draw. It's a draw. You can't go right. wrong with either. But all right, next up we got the Indonesian fried Ooh. chicken. The I am premise. Oh we are going to be comparing it to Western style fried chicken. Got it. Off the bat, though, I gotta ask, what type of piece are you guys when it comes to fried chicken? I'm a thai. 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 I used to be a drumstick guy because it's easier to eat. But thai meat tastes better. I'm a breast guy. Really? Well, mm. well, That's so a you act like this. I love it how they put the little crispies on top too. So. Or that's, that's gotta be the best I am cremis I ever had. What I love about a lot of Asian fried chicken is that it's not heavily battered. The juiciness, because it was marinated. And did you guys notice when you ate the chicken, there's a slight coconut flavor? Battle the I am cremis again, the fried chicken. We just had to do battle with previous fried chicken that you had. You mm -hmm. did If this does not make you want to come here after watching this video, I just don't like it. Yeah. Is that good, yeah. guys? The I am cremis won too easily, so you gotta give it some competition. This is called I am mentega. No. This guy was like, no, I am cremis. It's not the oh, only Indonesian yeah, fried yeah, chicken. This smells so good right now. And the juice is flowing out of that chicken. So this has a sweet butter sauce. What are you guys thinking? This is a tough one. I'm gonna go with this one right off the bat. The sweet okay. butter sauce really did it for me. I'm going with the I Am Kremis, the classic. I like the I Am Kremis. That's what, actually one of my favorites. I'm going with the Mentega. My first bite was better than my first bite of the Kremis. Oh God, God. another You know what? Draw. There's too many draws. <laughs> I'd suggest a tiebreaker. Okay. Cameraman Maybe Gabe Cameraman. has, okay, hold on. I'm gonna leave you yeah, Let's Let me taste this one more time. Yeah. 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 All right, should I, should I dip? Yeah, take a bite. <laughs> Come on. Hands down. Yeah! Between the I Am Kremis and the Mentega, Mentega wins. You win! But the next round is gonna be beef and vegetable. Wow. Now, okay. we got two different forms. Obviously, this is oxtail soup and vegetable paste. soup, okay? But this is your ground beef and vegetable pancake. This is the Marta Bar. We only can okay. grab what's wrong. Woo! Round four, fight! I really like this Marta Bar. Beef, egg, some vegetables inside. Really soft pastry outer. That was delicious. There's a reason why they provide these peppers with this, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a bite yeah. of each and then give you guys, you know. Woo. Oh! <laughs> he did it first. Oh. Look at him. I don't know why they would do that. <laughs> The, uh, I think you need some of the next dish. So the oxtail and vegetable stew is the soft bunta. It looks very hearty and healthy. Yeah. All right, it's guys. Nice. Let's sip the soup first. Did it taste a little cinnamon in the beginning? Yeah, not the flavor you think. That oxtail was falling off the bone, man. Very different dishes. 
<laughs> Hard to compare. I'm Similar going, ingredients though. No, yes. yeah. I'm going with the Mark Bot. I gotta agree with David on this one. I, I, mean, I thought it. the pastry element was excellent. I'm gonna go with the uh, stew. I actually really dislike outer, like fried. I'm going with the stew too. So between the Indonesian beef and vegetable dishes, it's a draw. This is the cold Indonesian salad the gado gado, meaning mix mix. And here we have the Kang Kang Belikan. Okay, Let's start off with Kang, the Belikan. Hey, I've been overall impressed by Wong Java House. Round five. The flavors there, I would have liked it to be a little more like refreshing tasting a little bit. I'm gonna say some opposite. I thought it could have been spicier. Very saucy, it was held down by a lot of garlic. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with the gado gado, AKA the mix mix. This is a pretty different dish. It has a mixture of tofu, green beans, hard shrimp boiled chips, egg, hard boiled egg, lots of peanut sauce. And you're the only one here who has never had a gado gado dish. What's your take on it? I would say it's good. I'm not sure if all the flavors blend together. I could taste everything almost individually, like the bean sprout, then the pea, you know, of course the hard boiled egg, and then the shrimp chip. So my thing about guado guado is always that it has a, such a strong peanut flavor. Uh, and if you're not trying to eat that much of it, it is yeah, gonna be hard to eat a lot of it because it's all soaking in the peanut sauce. Okay, Richard, you're rolling with the bella can. The bella can. Kang Kung bella can. I got to be a rich, I'm going with this one as well. Kang Kung bella can. Bella can. Bella can. Guys, this might be the first time that it's a unanimous decision. I'm rolling with the Pelican. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Fun Bros Food. That was the very first time we've done a battle. Mm. Dish battle. A dish yeah. battle. Yeah, I like that. My major takeaway was that I've had Indonesian food before. Yes. But today, I had a bunch of dishes I had never had before. Yeah. yeah. So it just goes to show you, there are so many layers of depth, and that's one tier and another tier. Yeah. So it was dope to, to leap another tier. I thought yeah. it was a really cool experience. Mm. As we were eating the dishes, they're so different from each other that it really had me like envision when someone would eat this in Jakarta, in Indonesia. You no, know, I couldn't name one Indonesian dish before today. This is a good warm up for us to you know, go over there and uh, you know set maybe a higher bar over there. Well, I thought it was really cool to have this kind of battle one-on-one -on -one of the dishes because it kind of revealed something about each of us it when we were it? defending ourselves of like True. why this dish is better. So yeah. it was a really good conversation to have because sometimes when you just go in on food, we kind of talk about the food, but we're not trying to convince each other yeah, and sure. make our case for the dish. For sure. So I, I thought that was really good. fun. Thanks for watching that video. Subscribe to Richie's channel. Shout out to Tans. Yep. Follow them all on the social media down below. Yes, Turn on your notifications, please. Yeah. Shout out to the Wong Java House for bringing the fire today. Yo, let us know in the comments below what other food battles you want to see because this was actually really fun. Yeah. Until next time, we out. Peace. I thought the peppers was too hot. <laughs> I, 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 I avoided it. <laughs> I see you guys have big ones on your <laughs> Woo!